and, and it's about Job. Yeah. You know, how many of you know that the Lord habitats the praises of His people? Right. Right. You know, I believe that it's still okay to come in the house of the Lord and praise Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I tell you, you'd be amazed what can happen if you just get your mind made up when you leave your house uh, and you come on into the house of the Lord with raised up holy hands, said glory, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. And I tell you, you may be you may be the only one at first, but I can guarantee you one thing. If you get up with the right spirit about you, that'll just spread across the congregation uh, like wildfire. And I tell you right now, I tell you, there ain't no matter. Ain't no telling what might happen, Brother Brian. I tell you, you know, you might see souls saved. I tell you, you might see people healed. I tell you, you might even see the dead raised, the lame walk again, the blind to see. I tell you something, they still power in the name Jesus, amen. I tell you, when we look in the book of Acts and we look in the Gospels and we see where Jesus raised people up and healed them, I tell you, it didn't die back then. I tell you, that power, that power didn't leave earth uh, when Jesus left, amen. I've still got that same power, that same power living in me uh, because when you see in your word, you say, it is expedient. Jesus said, is it, it is expedient that I go because then I will send you the comforter and I believe, and, and I believe that it says, uh, I believe that it says that you will perform works greater than I. You know, I tell you, if we get full of that Holy Ghost, uh, I tell you, if we get full of that Holy Ghost uh, and we let the Holy Ghost have reign in our churches, uh, I tell you, we've got a lot of churches that's run by the flesh, amen? But when we let that Holy Ghost start doing things, uh, I tell you, we'll see things happen, amen? I tell you, as I said earlier, we can't do it in our own flesh, brother, but when we see, when we want to see our community revived, when we want to see our state revived, when we want to see our country revived, the only thing that is going to happen, the only way it's going to happen is through the power of the Holy Ghost, and through the power of the Holy Ghost, and through that name Jesus, amen. I tell you, it ain't going to happen through Jesse Harden, it ain't going to happen through Brian Melton, but I pray you. If he wants to use me to get it done, amen, go right ahead. But it ain't going to happen in the name of Jesse. It's going to happen in the name of Jesus, amen. I tell you, I tell you, glory to God. Woo, amen. I tell you, I'm excited. I'm excited about what's going to happen in the near future. Because in the Word, it says in the last days. In the last days, I will pour out my Spirit among all flesh. Amen. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall dream dreams. Your old men shall see visions. I don't know if that's exactly how it's wrote, but it's close. And that's okay. But I'm telling you something. It's still real for today. Amen. I tell you, don't let somebody come you and tell you said oh that just that went on out way on back then we don't need to walk like that we don't need to talk like that amen they don't want it to happen like that because they know that it'll change them amen I tell you I tell you something uh, when I pray for people I say Lord Lord just go get them send that conviction power of the Holy Ghost uh, I tell you to convict them bring them to the altar like you done me because I tell you when I really got a hold of this thing things changed amen I tell you I don't want to I, 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 I'm I don't go do what I used to do, but I don't want to go do what I used to do. Amen. I tell you, I want to stand up and proclaim the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's power in that name, Jesus. I tell you, when the United States of America goes under, there'll still be that name, Jesus. When Barack Obama's out of office, there'll still be that name of Jesus. I tell you, oh, Lord, help us. Whoever gets voted in in this election, there'll still be that name, Jesus. And if we'll just get our eyes back on that name of Jesus, it don't matter who gets voted in. It don't matter what happens tomorrow. It don't happen if we lose our job. It doesn't matter because we know we're serving the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. I tell you, if we can just get that in our spirit. My sister sung a song earlier. I tell you, things change when Jesus comes on the scene. 
Things change when Jesus comes on the scene. I tell you, there's a reason. There's a reason that when in our school systems, you know, they don't mind people praying to Muhammad. They don't mind people praying to Allah. They don't even mind you saying God. But I tell you, when you start proclaiming that name of Jesus, when you start proclaiming that name of Jesus, there's power in that name. I tell you, there's power through that name. That shed blood of Jesus Christ uh, that was shed on Mount Calvary a little, little bit more than 2,000 years ago. I tell you, He'll save your soul tonight. You might say, Brother Jesse, I've went too far. Brother Jesse, you know, I've been bound by some things. I'm bound by drugs and alcohol. You know, the Lord don't want me. But I tell you, I read about in the Bible that Jesus walked up to a man that was that was uh, bound by legions of demons. And I tell you, and them demons come out of that feller and went into the swine. I tell you. That same Jesus is able to deliver you from what you're bound by tonight. I tell you, he's more than able. I tell you, if he delivered me and he delivered you, brother, I tell you, he can deliver anybody. And I tell you, you know, I thought I was living before I was living for the Lord. But now, I just now started living. Amen. I tell you, you know, I don't want to go out and do the things of the world. I just want to come into the house of the Lord. And if I get the preach that's okay if I get to sing that's okay but either way I'm going to still lift up holy hands and say glory hallelujah because uh, but Jesus Christ is where I find my strength uh, and without Jesus I can't do anything amen glory hallelujah but I said that to say this that was free amen you know in the book of Job you see all the things that happened to Job you see all the things that he went through. He lost all of his cattle. He lost all of everything he ever had, even his sons and daughters. The only thing he had left was his wife. And what did his wife tell him, tell him to do? He said, Job, just cuss God and die. Just cuss God and die. I tell you, I hope my wife tells me if things ever get that hard, I hope she tells me, said, Jesse, just hold on a little bit longer. The Lord's going to take us through this thing. Just hold on a little bit longer. Go on a little bit farther. But I tell you something about Job. It didn't matter what come against him. It didn't matter what the devil took away from him. It didn't matter if he was covered in balls. It didn't matter if he was in sackcloth and ashes. It didn't matter what happened. He was still able to raise his hands and say, I'm going to praise you, Jesus. And I tell you, if Job could do that, we should be able to come into the church doors because we we didn't have to walk here. Some of you may have walked here. Glory, hallelujah, that you're here. But I know I drove here in a car. And praise the Lord. For me to be able to drive here in a car, I should be more than able to walk in and lift up holy hands and say, thank you, Lord. I tell you, what you're going through, do not let your circumstance take your praise. Don't let your your circumstance take your praise I, I tell you you might be fighting something but I tell you that something's temporary I tell you the storm didn't come to stay the storm come to pass I, I tell you I tell you glory hallelujah that storm you're going through ain't going to be here forever I tell you you know you know sadness might stay for a day but joy cometh in the morning hallelujah I'm glad to know that my Lord brings joy in the morning Glory, hallelujah. But I tell you, if we can just get a hold of that, if we can just get a hold of that, you know, many times working in the heat and working on first shift, you know, you get off of work in the afternoons and you're just, oh Lord, you've already sweated enough today just to drown a fish, but I'm telling you. And you just get off of work and you say, well, Lord, I'm going to church anyways. And you just walk into the and you just walk into church and you just start feeling heavy. You may be feeling heavy not by what you done during the day, but what you're going through. I tell you, whatever it is, you know, I tell you, it may be a bill not getting paid. It may be your mom or your daddy sick. It may even be a son or daughter that's backslid on the Lord or needs salvation. But I tell you, if we'll just come into the house of the Lord and we'll just raise up our hands and say, Glory, Hallelujah. 
Lord, I tell you, and, and just say, Lord, I'm going to praise you. Lord, no matter how, how much it rains, no matter how hard the rain gets, no matter how hard the wind blows, no matter how, how hard the earthquakes, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, come hell or high water, I'm still going to praise you. And you know, when we begin to praise Him, when we begin to lift up holy hands, we'll begin to feel that burden start lift up off of us. And then before long, we'll say glory, hallelujah. And then you just start feeling like taking a jog around the church, amen. Because you know something, when you start proclaiming the name of Jesus, I tell you, that sickness, that devil, whatever you're going through has to leave because I tell you I tell you something devil, the devil done got humiliated one time when, when the Lord threw him out of heaven he ain't going to stick around to let him humiliate him again when Jesus, start, when Jesus comes on the scene that devil will flee if we'll get enough power in us when that devil starts coming again us will say get thee behind me Satan I'm going on for Jesus I tell you it'll help us out a little bit amen oh glory Mm. Mm. Glory, hallelujah. But as I was talking about earlier, we serve an on time God. You know, I as sister, as my sister, well, I can't remember her name right now, but as my sister was singing that song four days late, I began to think about. You know, I'm an EMT, you know, firefighter, you know, and I and I know what the human what happens to the human body just minutes after a heart starts be, stops beating. What happens just minutes after somebody stops breathing? You know, if they're laid out, say, 15 minutes, brother, we get there, there ain't nothing we can do for them. Right. We can try all we want to, but if, if we, can, we may get a pulse back, but unless the Lord intervenes, they ain't going to be good for nothing. Yeah. They're going to be a cucumber laying there. I, I, I mean, I hate to be blunt like that, but that's just the truth. Yeah. But i tell you something. Listen to this. Yeah. I just told you there is power in that name, Jesus. I just told you there is power in that name, Jesus. I tell you, Jesus come walking up on the scene. She said, Mary and Martha said, Jesus, you're too late. You're too late. And you say, well, Jesus said, show me the grave anyways. They say, Lord, he's been dead four days. He stinketh. He stinks. And you know, he ain't been dead 15 minutes. He's been dead four days. But Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, come forth. And then you but and then and then Lazarus got up out of that grave and began to walk around in those grave clothes. And Jesus said, Take those grave clothes off of him. Amen. I tell you something, if you just get your faith in Jesus, sister, if you get your faith in Jesus, brother, I tell you, you may feel like it. You're just done. You done fell off the deep end and died because of the situation you're going through. And you may think, it is, oh, you're too late. But I tell you, Jesus will come by and Jesus will take that situation and he'll turn it around and turn it for good. We serve an on time God, a living God that's still standing on the right hand of the Father, making intercessory for us. He healed the sick, healed the made the blind to see, the deaf to hear, the dumb to talk. Oh, glory, hallelujah. I thank you. I thank him for that power. And tonight, I'm telling you, don't let the devil take your praise. Don't let anything in this world take your praise. Because I tell you, the devil is, I tell you, there's this doctrine going around that people say that the devil's in hell. I'm sorry, the devil's not in hell. I believe a word says the devil is seeking whom he may devour. But I tell you something right now. There's a devil out there seeking whom he may devour. But I also know a Jesus that's out there seeking to save those that are lost. Glory to God. He'll save you if you lost tonight. And he'll give you life more abundantly. Amen. Because there's life in that name Jesus. And I praise Him tonight. Whatever you're going through tonight, whether it be just, a, just you know, what, 
It may seem small to somebody else, Brother Brian, but I'm going to tell you this. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. If it's big to you, it's big to God. If you're a child of God and your problem is big to you, it's big to God. You know, sometimes I may face something and people may not care about my problem, but the Lord sees what it has an effect on me and the Lord cares and he'll, he's, he's more. He's, he'll be the, he's a constant help. He'll stick closer than a brother. Amen. Glory to God. I just praise Him tonight. I praise Him. No matter what you're going through tonight, just praise Him. Praise Him in your storm. Because I tell you, I, re I realize that sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to look at Jesus and just have faith, you know, it's, it's going to be okay. When you, see the due, when you see the due date of that bill come and go, you say, Lord, it's going to be okay. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you you too lazy to go to work. I mean, I know some people can't work. If you're able to work, you need to go out and get a job, and the Lord will bless you. Where'd my amens go then? Amen. I mean, that's down where the rubber hits the road. Amen. But I tell you, whatever it is, the Lord is more than able. I realize that it gets hard sometimes. I know. I'm not going to stand up here and say that my life's a bed of roses because it's not. But the Lord's gave me that power to stand. Amen. The Lord's gave me that power to stand. Amen. When the storm gets rough, I have that power to stand. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because I'm rooted in something that made the world. I'm rooted in something and I'm rooted in someone that's got all power in heaven and on earth. I've got I, I'm, I got my faith in somebody that the earth is his footstool. Yeah. I tell you, he done threw the devil out of heaven one time. Yeah. I've read the back of the book. I know who wins. Yeah. Glory to God. I know in Revelation it says he'll be cast into the lake of fire. Yeah. And one day we'll be in heaven. Yeah. If we'll just hold on a little bit longer and go on a little bit farther, our redemption draweth nigh. I tell you, we're not living, I believe we're not living in the last days. We're living in the last hours to the last minutes of the last days. And I tell you, I'm glad to be alive, Brother Brian. I'm glad to know that I'm look, when I look at that eastern sky, I can say, come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come get us, Lord. Come quickly. Come quickly, Lord. But I tell you, just hold on a little bit longer. Go on a little bit farther. Don't be, don't be afraid to praise the Lord. Amen. I know your pastor ain't going to get scared if you jump up and say hallelujah. Your pastor ain't going to get scared if you just feel the Spirit and take a little run. Amen. I tell you, I, I tell you, I, I know that'll help you when you, somebody says amen, hallelujah while you're preaching. I know it's hard, it's hard to sit down when you're getting a lot of amens. Amen. But whatever you're going through tonight, don't let it take your praise. Because I want you to look and see what happened to Job after he come through the other side of what he went through. And he didn't sin while he was going through it either. He come out the other side and the Lord didn't just give him what he had before. He increased him. He increased him. I'm telling you. The Lord wants to prosper us. The Lord wants to prosper us. I don't believe in giving a preacher a thousand dollars and a, cow, a Cadillac's going to fall out of the sky. But I believe the Lord wants to pros prosper us. Amen. Just hold on a little bit longer. Because Jesus. Amen. Did you feel that? Did you feel that? Jesus. Just everybody say that name with me. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I tell you, there's power in that name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, brother.